Hello again. I just had a thought to put together this quick little rough slideshow of some various works that I have done. I've just found the folder or two of some images. Um, the vast majority are 25 to 15 or perhaps some 10 years old. Most of them around 20 to 25 years ago. And I just thought I'd pop them up, maybe have a little bit of a chat about them. The first one here, it's a bit of a shuffle. This one is one of the early first sort of landscapes that when I embarked on learning to paint photographically in 1993 I think that was. This one would be 95. Uh, I did a series of night paintings. This is probably uh, where I went out at night and painted them. This one was from a photograph around about 94 in which there was a casino in the Auckland Sky Tower there's more of those that will come. This was 93, in my first year at art school. Here is my studio in 95 at art school. Uh, a studio reproduced version of a night painting that was done as a study in a small size, and this one being about a metre. Here is a photo of the easel set up on the right side of the road while I was doing a night painting. This is slightly more recent, perhaps uh, 10 years ago, done in oils while sitting in situ This is from about around about the same time, it's a collection of three paintings joined together in a triptych. Around about the same time, an imaginary person, at some stages called, been nicknamed Artemis. This is from around about... 19, no, sorry, 2005, 2003. This is a still from a lightning strike. 2010. Colonizer is its title. 2005. These ones around 2005, this one included, the ones with the round edges will naturally, are all around the same time. These were all done while sitting in a car and I have mentioned that in earlier works. You've perhaps seen this, sorry, not in, in the earlier videos of the creative thinking series. This is a studio reproduction of one of those studies from 2005. This was perhaps 2007. This is 2005 in that series. So there's a huge amount of paintings that were done in this period of 2005 and 2006. And it was the period of which I mentioned here is another one where I began this a seven-year period of fat in which I had come out of a dark night of the soul. Again, this is another one. And it was a pretty much, you will see, here's another one, a huge explosion of painting at the beginning of a seven-year period. Most of these paintings were 
done within three to five months of each other. I think that might be a repeat image that snuck in. Two thousand five again. In fact, probably two thousand six. This one. Two thousand five again. These slides, there's it's really a, a small snippet of artwork that I've made. There's a, a lot that's missing from previous yeah, some of these photo oh there's another double up I think isn't it there's um a few that do go back to 1991 and 2 2005 again 2005 I keep saying 2005, but it's many of them are actually closer to 2006, end of 2005, uh, 2005 and beginning of 2006. You will notice a huge. Uh, variation in style. Now this is 2001, a diptych is the first one on the left hand of a diptych and it is named Home. And this is the second one called Goal. That explosion was copied off the front page of the newspaper 2001. An explosion in the tower. Before I knew that it perhaps was not what it seemed, I named it Home Goal. 2010. Sorry, 1995. This is 1994. This was when I was a teenager. Some of the things I used to make when I was 15. 1994 1994 1993 I think we may be going into the art school Days. I think the slideshows put some of the more recent ones. Yes, this is um, 1994. 1995. I'm amazed I'm doing well at remembering the dates reasonably well, I think, 1994. This is the whole of where the casino and the Auckland Sky Tower now is. 1995. 1995. No, perhaps actually 1996. These are of the night paintings done while sitting in the car. This is 1993. One of the first night paintings. 
that I did 1994, perhaps 1995, 1995, another painted from life with a torch on the side of the road, night painting. Uh, while I was in my, when I was 16, 17, I used to do work experience at the local newspapers. So a photo from then, this is from my high school photography around 91. This would have been around about 1991. This fellow uh, came up to, his, to me, I was taking photos, and, and he said, what are you doing? I said, I'm supposed to take photos of things that are interesting, and he said, well, I'm interesting. A time-lapse photo from 1994. 1996, a little thing that I made in a unusable fireplace at a flat. Oh, we've got another double up photo. The easel set up on the side of the road. It's a painting that you may have seen. Um, that wasn't the night that I painted that painting. I was painting another one across the road. School photography, 1992, 95, perhaps 96. Uh, that would have been about 96. Hmm, 96. Nineteen ninety three, nineteen ninety five, nineteen ninety five, Mickey Mouse House. Can you see Mickey Mouse? Nineteen ninety six, nineteen ninety six, sorry, nineteen ninety five, nineteen ninety five. Rigid by the race. Hmm, 
1995. Nineteen ninety two. Nineteen ninety two. Nineteen ninety two. These are in 1992, uh, 1992. These are my submission, I think, from one of the sc uh, my high school that final year. Nineteen ninety six. Nineteen ninety four. It's a repeat, isn't it? Or is it? It's 1992, but I think we've already had that one. It's 1994. This was one of, this is perhaps the second of these night paintings that I did from life. 1995. Nineteen ninety four, nineteen ninety six. It was quite small. Nineteen ninety seven. There was a whole series of these are quite quite large based on the Pergamon Hellenistic um, relic uh, building or whatever it is. The Pergamon. Uh, that, that was 95, I think, and this is 93. Ninety six Dog House. It was actually called Rothman. Ninety three. Nineteen ninety four. Another repeat, isn't it? Ninety four. Three. This ninety three was my first year at art school. Ninety five. Ninety seven. This was my first year out of art school. Ninety six. We uh, where are we 
here, 1995 again. Sorry, 2005. 2006. Two thousand and five back into the car painting. Now this is about two thousand and one during a period of the seven years lean again around about. Two thousand and three, two thousand and three, the one that I said to was two thousand and one. I think it was actually two thousand and three. So the last three have been some of the few paintings from a lean period. The other two were the home goal. This was one of the first of the two thousand and five beginning of the fat period. This again is 2005. 2005. Two thousand and five. This is the study that the larger painting you may recognize was done from two thousand and five. Two thousand and six. Any that are from 2005 and six in this slideshow were done in the car pretty much during the period I've mentioned. This again, 2006. This may be a repeat, is it? 2006. Those stars actually glow in the dark. <laughs> 2006. These are uh, night paintings from in the car. There's a series of them. They were, these were done in oils, the earlier series that we've already seen that were painted standing on the street were done in acrylics. It was quite difficult with oils. You'll see the yellow in this one. You'll see, you'll, well in general you'll see the saturation of the colour was quite strong compared to acrylics which lends itself actually better to night painting tones so the oil paintings were quite bright again 2006 this is one of the early, probably the second one, when I said there was one of the first of the 95, 96, uh, 2005, 2006 period, and that was the second one. Jumping to 2009, I think. There's a period of 2009 and 10, which we're entering now, this is 2009. I used to have better photos of these. 2009. 
from the car, painted from the car. 2010, I'm not sure why this slides in there, it's an unfinished. Now this is 2012. Around the time near the end of the last fat period another unfinished thing. Now these are 2012 still, 2012. This was actually while I was in Wellington working on The Hobbit. 2012. Some of the last six series of works that I did 2012 before the most more recent lean period 2011 2011 So between 2005 and 6 and 2012, 13, was a seven year period of fat or high output. 2011, 2011 again. Hmm, it's the same the same painting I think as I said it is very rough <laughs> this slideshow 2010. Maybe nine, two thousand and nine, maybe two thousand and ten. This one was two thousand and eight, and then finished two thousand ten. Maybe wrong. It might have been two thousand six and two finished two thousand eight. So it was 2009 or 10. So I'm, I add another repeat of that same image. I apologize for the double ups. Two thousand and thirteen. That's actually been digitally adjusted that was a working drawing this is one of the last paintings I did at the end of the seven year cycle 2013 this is 2010 Dionysus versus St This one was, uh, I can't keep up with the slide. That was an old drawing from uh, art school. This is 2009. A little bit blurry. That is 2007. That is 2009. Two thousand and nine. Two 
2008. That's actually the same painting as 2007, which I painted over. 2009. Now this is 2009 with seed of life, flower of life, drawn over it temporarily while I was doing an experiment, 2010. Anyway, so that's all of the ones that I have on the computer at the moment uh, there's a whole pile somewhere else and a whole pile that have never been photographed but i just thought what the heck i would uh, pop up a really roughly put together voiceover of a slideshow of a random collection of paintings over space of the last 25 or so years. Anyway, catch you later. Thanks for looking if you uh, did. See you again. Bye.